Well, there are a lot of things that can be done to prevent lymphedema or decrease the rates of it uh, occurring. Um, there's been a great new uh, breakthrough in the technology of detecting lymphedema. In the past, all we had was the clinical examination, <clears throat> how tight patients' rings were, how tight their watches were, their clothing. Um, those are all clinical ways of detecting lymphedema. And now we have a sub, what we classify as a subclinical way of detecting it, um, where you can actually monitor patients that, have, that are at a higher risk and use a technology called bioimpedance spectroscopy. And this really um, is the best subclinical way of detecting lymphedema. And in those patients that we can detect changes in their um, spectroscopy score, interventions can be performed to, to really significantly reduce the risk of them de developing the lymphedema that we all have seen clinically and, and patients have seen in pictures that they dread. And so that's really the best way of, of diagnosing and detecting uh, lymphedema. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.